Welcome in everyone. Very special video today. I have got a ton of footage and info on the new portal for the event Abyssal Mist. It's all brand new. There's two brand new heroes, Lucius and Dokio. Probably saying it wrong, but anyway. I've got info on the two new heroes at max stars and level 60. And I've got a ton of info about the portal as well. So let's get into it. These are the enemies that you will find in the portal. We've got the Abyssal Warlock and the Abyssal Zealot. And I want to talk about this one's power uh, because it's a new thing. And I've seen a little bit of debate going on on Discord when they released the post. So I wanted to show you, I've got footage so I can show you the actual skill itself. It's called Beyond the Veil. And when the Zealot uses this power, he gets the buff, which is called Stealth. When they've got Stealth on them, any physical attacks, your punches and your weapons will not work. But if you use a hero power, it will still deal damage. So it's a bit like in Troll Hunt when they turn to stone. Except in Troll Hunt, you can damage them with hammers. And when the skill resolves, the enemy don't run away, it don't disappear, and you don't lose the points. So it's absolutely fine. The portal boss itself has a different skill, which is called Sacrifice. And when he uses that one, it puts stealth on one of his allies and then it will be sacrificed so it'll disappear and you will lose the points for that enemy if you don't kill it first and that's where the confusion come from a little bit so i just wanted to explain that and i have got a little preview of the event roma as well here it is and a quick look at one of the skins from the event as well i think this is the premium skin i'm not entirely sure and i think that is the cape from the event track and this is concept art for the event guild boss and what it looks like in the game as well and then quickly moving on we've got the heroes lucius and dokio i am quite excited about these heroes it's a massive move for Knighthood. The first one is Dokio. He is a dark mage, so he's going to want them dark tomes. Both of these heroes are making massive moves to bring a little bit of consistency throughout the classes and make them all viable for the Expert Rift and Kanheim sort of stuff. That doesn't mean to say that all the classes are made equally, but that's a video for another day. Let's pause for a second and get into Dokio's abilities so on his base power it gives 50% rage so it's a little bit like Brutus I imagine it might give a little bit more rage if you use it with a mage gauntlet but we don't know yet it attacks a single target and it dispels all of their buffs and it has a chance to give you focus for one turn so even if it doesn't give extra rage with a mage gauntlet if you use it with the rebel gauntlet which gains rage from you getting buffs then it's going to give you about 75 percent somewhere along them lines just from his base power so yeah it's going to be quite powerful and then his rage power has a chance to stun and it damages all enemies it doesn't distribute which means it's good for pve stuff and at max stars he gets a chance to inflict weaken now if you've watched any of my videos you'll know that weaken is an integral part of the game and getting into the rift early and completing Kanheim as well so this is a big step towards making mage a little bit more viable and here are the base powers in action i don't know what gauntlet is being used in this clip but as you can see it gains 50% rage. I've slowed the, I'm going to play it back and slow it down a little bit. You can see it with no rage there. And then using Dokio's base power, it gets 50% rage. And then this is what the rage power looks like as well. It is quite flashy. Uh, looks pretty cool. And it damages all enemies. So it's going to be quite powerful with the mage charms. And then we've got Lucius, the unique hero. This is the one that I'm excited about. These are the stats at level 60 and max stars. Now, if you directly compare this hero to Dokio, 
he comes with weaken on his rage you do not need to get him max stars which is a bit of a downfall for dokio you're gonna have to spend a few gems and open quite a lot of chests to get that max stars to enable him to weaken with lucius you don't need to come straight out of the box weaken on rage the rage is distributed which is not so good versus pve but it's still a huge step up for the rogue class and with this hero on board Rogue class is now a lot more viable for the Expert Rift and Karnheim and all that stuff. The base power heals, which is good, makes it a lot more viable just to start with. And it has a chance for one turn protect. Now if I were to use this hero in the Rift, I wouldn't rely on that one turn protect. I would still take protect on the weapon. But the fact that it heals you... And he's got the heals already, so you don't need a second hero for heals, which is another problem Dokio has. You can take any other hero. So if you've got the rogue charms, I would probably take... Normally, with Warrior, I take Logan and Garen. You can straight up swap that and do Lucius and Samael and achieve exactly the same thing. And then, if you do manage to get this hero on max stars, I know max star unique is a little bit wild, but if you do manage to get this hero on max stars, you will get focus for free turns from his base power and that allows you to change the buff weapon to only include protect and then you can put anything you want in the other three slots and still be able to run the maverick gauntlet to its full potential definitely an exciting hero and it's definitely exciting for the rogue class this is what the powers look like in play i'm gonna add a disclaimer to this clip when he does this heal now that is the base power the knight was almost full health, so I don't think you see a full heal there. And this is what the rage power looks like. This is definitely a cool hero for the game. And I love that they bring in rogue class up to almost the sort of level where warrior is right now. So it's definitely in the meta a lot more. And it's a lot more viable overall. It's basically a rogue Logan, if you think about it. So yeah, definitely enjoy that they're doing this. And then I'm going to leave you with some footage from the portal. And I will be back when the portal opens with a video. I'm going to be playing a lot of this portal. And I'm going to be trying to unlock these heroes. So once I've figured it out, I'm going to be back with a video for my top tips for this portal. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have been James B09. Good luck out there.